Hi guys, welcome to this session. Today we are going to discuss some Python projects to follow to just make your Python stronger and test yourself whether you know the fundamentals or not. So before starting, I would like to know how many of you are already, I mean, you have already achieved your desired role, data analyst, data scientists, or software development, or you are pursuing it and just in the process. So comment with the reason why you want this particular role. And if there is any role which is not in the option here, I want you to write the role and with a reason like why you want to achieve it. So let's remind ourselves what we want to achieve. And if you have achieved something, what is your next goal? What is your next step? If you are already a data analyst, data scientist, what's the next step? What, are, what is your target, whether it's a package or a company where you aspire to work. So let's see who is closer to their goal and why they are doing it so that we can motivate each other. So let's just start with the first Python project. And these projects are completely for beginners. It's not for someone who who is already good, good in Python. But yeah, if you want to do it for fun, you can definitely do it. So for those who are already experienced, they can just do it uh, without checking code and just for their logical exercise. And those who are beginners, they don't need to just keep doing it by themselves. If they are kind of feeling low, it's hard, it's okay just to see the code and understand the process. So I have all the links also, I will share it with you. So the first project is number guessing game. And it's a fun game where you need to generate random numbers with specific ranges and user need to guess the number after getting the hints. So let me show you directly code actually. I don't want to just discuss this like this. You know, the main thing is you must practice you must practice it now. Okay, I think the link is not working like this. So let's just check number guessing game on Geeks for Geeks. Number guessing game Python. So there are multiple platforms to see the code. If you want to see the code, if you feel that it's hard to do it, you are not able to think. So simply just check on Google. There may be multiple solutions. So you can check multiple way of doing the same problem statement, same game. And here you can see that you have all the explanation available. As a beginner, if you are not able to do it, that's completely okay. Let me show you how to understand game and how to skim code properly so that it improves your learning despite you are watching the code. If you are not able to build logic, that's completely fine. It can take months to make build logic. You just need to practice. You just need to get habitual of looking at codes. Now, let me show you. For example, this is the code you see in Python. You can see in C programming also. Now, what do you learn from this code? Let's say you have done Python and you still feel that you are looking at this code and you see that, oh, I don't know about this input. What's input here? Now you can say that, oh, I don't know about random dot random. What, what does it do? You may see like, oh, I don't know about this round function. You don't know about this math.log. Now you can see that how, why it's written like this in double quote like this. So there can be multiple things in this code where as a beginner, you may think, I don't under, uh, understand this. So how to understand this? Let I will show you now. Now here you can see that there are a lot of things. So what you can do is, first of all, here it's already written. The good thing about this platform is they put a lot of comments to read. So it is about taking inputs. This is a method using input. You take input. Why int is written outside of it? Because when you take input, you are simply taking uh, uh, a string. Well, see, you can see that we have this double quote here. So you need to convert this into integer so that you can use it. So in this way, you can see a lot of things here where 
you can learn some methods, some functions, some steps like, for example, string formatting, some new library like random. And sometimes you also understand like how we are using while loop and why we are particularly using this logic. So what you need to do is you can you need to simply copy this code from here. You can see that copy code and open a Google Colab and just uh, put the, all the code here. One way is this like you can copy code, but other way the best way I will suggest is you must type code simply open a different browser and parallelly just type code from here and print at each step what's going on. If you want me to make a video on how to understand someone else's code by breaking it down, please comment below. I will make a video on how to understand a code if you take it from geeks for geeks or any other platform, how to debug it, how to understand it at each step. So if you want a video on that, please comment below. I will make a video on that. Right now, I don't want to do it because it will make the video very long. So this is what you can do as a beginner. And this is the best way of revising the fundamentals. Best way of revising like these methods, which you can use in future in your projects, in your somewhere in assignment and somewhere you may need it. And if you want to just make a way of revision, you are tired of revising your uh, notes and you want an interactive way to learn this is the best way just take a project based on these topics and just skim the code and see how it's working so this is the first project let me go on second uh, now and second is like calculator so the same way uh, I will just check calculator code here also for you calculator python and just simply search there are multiple platforms you can check program is also Let's go on Geeks for Geeks. And here again, we can see that we have the whole program for basic calculator program. And here, what you will learn is this library, Kinter, and how it works to build this game. So I won't suggest this program or going through this project for those who are, let's say, in fourth year. This is something for those who want to explore more into coding and they have enough time. So let's say if you are in the fourth year and you need to sit for interviews, I will suggest go straight for the things you need to learn to get a particular role you want. But let's say if you are in first year, second year, third year, and you want to explore more into coding, you want to have fun uh, through learning. This is something you must do it. So this is a very good way of learning different libraries, how things work and how to build logic to do something. Because when you explore so much code like this and you learn also like how the logic is being built to achieve an interactive game which you can even sell. I mean, nowadays you cannot sell calculator game, but you just, you just built so much logic that you can create something new. So let's go for our third project, which is alarm clock. And uh, you can check alarm clock code also on the same platform, like data, it's different platforms, data flare. Let me show you this one also. Alarm clock data flare. So you can see alarm clock with GUI. Here you can see the whole code for the alarm clock. And let's see what you will learn here. So again, here you will learn something new. It is also based on Kinter. So you will probably learn more methods from Kinter library. The main thing is you learn a lot of things like how to create a structured code, like creating functions and uh, logic inside functions and using functions to pass inside functions. So this is very interesting. And here, instead of collab, you can also try this on some PyCharm or some other, so some other IDE. So in this way, you can learn and revise a lot from Python. So now in Hangman, I have done this personally, Hangman. 
it was it was very interactive game and it's also sometimes for fun and the best thing i learned by doing this game was it, it helped me to revise loops and understand how loops are exactly working so i suggest you to try this hangman and then tic tac toe let's say you are going to appear for uh, any python interview trust me going through these games and any other game based on the concepts you need to show or prove yourself in that interview it will help you now in tic tac toe or uh, i think in numpy is also used let me show you this tic tac toe numpy so for for data science if you want to revise numpy and fundamentals of python this will help you let me show you this here you can see that we have used numpy library also we have used this sleep like from time and random random and numpy is quite useful in data science so it can help you to just revise this and you can see we have used double for loop and then condition inside it so it really helps you to code like how to write code on this much le level how things are working now you can see that uh, this is quite challenging game tic tac toe so you must uh, go through this one i will personally suggest that this is a good game even though you let's say you are not able to write this code by yourself it's completely okay just debug it and see how it's working you can see that we have here around 3 4 5 6 7 eight functions and we are using eight function in the final like seven function inside in this final play game so it's really interesting go through it and comment below whether you like this video or not and if you would like to see some other topic videos one of the learner had suggested to make a video on python projects for beginners so that's why i shared this if you want something else next time please comment below i will i will make a video on it and guys if you enjoyed the content please like the video subscribe our channel and share it with others we really need your support so that we can grow and help others also thank you